All right, we're up here at the Blue Bank restaurant. Thought I'd show you around a little bit. They've got all their lights up now. Are the biggest majority of them. Kind of do a, a little bit of a, a look in here. Looks like they've got a Santa box. Merry Christmas. Oh, they're asking for donations. I'll have to hit them on the way out. over to the far side see the beautiful snowman the Christmas tree Let's walk on down here Once more, we're here at the Blue Bank in Real Foot, Real Foot Lake, down by Tiptonville, Tennessee, Northwest Tennessee, right next to the mighty Mississippi. That music reminds me of the year that I went to Disney World on Christmas Day. And it was one of the most glorious events that I've ever been to that has ever been created by man to go to Disney World on Christmas. I was already down in the area by myself, being a bachelor, just an old bachelor. And I thought, well, you know what? There probably ain't gonna be that many people down there at Disney World. I'm gonna head down that way and just give her a shot. I think at the time the tickets was about 85, 82, 87 dollars, something like that. 
Come to find out, Christmas is their busiest day. I had no idea that people from all over the world, China, Russia, Japan, Australia, I couldn't tell you the amount of people that I've seen that was from different cultures from all over the world. And I had no idea that I was going to be blessed. And I do mean blessed to be able to uh, venture into that type of atmosphere. Not just in seeing the creation or creations that Mr. Disney himself had created, but in exchange of being around all them people from all them different cultures, was just absolutely marvelous. This is the front side. Rudolph. Sorry about the bouncing around. It's bound to take a lot of time to set all this stuff up. He's got to have a pretty big warehouse to store all this stuff from one year to another. More reindeer. Mickey and Mindy. Mickey playing the piano.
Like we had a flower bed here. Winter mustard or something. I don't know what this is. North Pole. Fire truck. Sand and the reindeers. Got a duck. walk on over here lakes all in behind her These are cabins, rooms, where you can come down and stay for a night or two, a week or two. It's not just for fishing and hunting. It's for relaxation. Ah, this is the back. This is over here next to the lake. Look at you. You living a good life, ain't you? Where are you from? Memphis. Memphis? Yeah. Where are you from? Ah, uh, just down the, down the road. Hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> Pretty close to Martin. In that area. Yeah. Whole well, fire feels good. Well, they've got those other little fires, but they're really not that warm. Yeah. So that, that's nice. Did Was that already set up for? Uh, they had this year. I brought some yeah. wood with me. Brought some wood, yeah? Yeah, they've got, they've got quite a few of these sitting around over over yeah. here. This one was already here, I'm staying there, so. And it's just about right, you know, it ain't really terribly, terribly cold. Yeah. But at the same time, it's cold enough that you can yeah. appreciate a good fire. <laughs> yeah. Well, they got it all lit up, don't they? Yeah, it's good. You come up here a lot? I came up here last Thanksgiving see the lights and I came up here this week this weekend to see them. It's nice. It the is. Water. They put a lot of time in all this, you know what? Good talking to you. Yeah I see that. Really? I don't know where he gets all this stuff. I don't know. Those balls are probably expensive. You know, these red balls by the... I think I saw them online for like 150 bucks. Yeah. These uh, balls by the... Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, all this stuff is expensive. A lot of memories here, huh? Yeah, it's nice here. A lot of good memories. Oh yeah. Going down this way. This is the back of the restaurant, and upstairs is where a lot of the rooms are. This is just too much. Glorious looking. I had some business up here and I purposely sainered around. Look up here at the top where well, they got it all decorated. Bells. Purposely sainered around and waited till the end's evening. That way I could get a better picture. Because if you'll catch. If you'll catch the. Uh, the daunting dawn. Look at all the boats. Alright let's go up here real quick. the bridge and we'll turn around get a better view of the restaurant and hotel and my rooms up on top and rooms over here swimming pool right there in the summertime back in that area Look at the lights way up there. I don't know if you can see them or not. Baby Jesus in the crib. That's beautiful. I hear the ducks in the background. I'm trying to roost. Santa Claus. 
He's hanging on. Hanging on to that helicopter. Excuse me. That's different. Those are beautiful. Look at these deer. Made out of metal. That's not plastic. Old truck. Little Christmas tree. Old train. Blue Bank Express. Santa's Toy Shop. Toy Soldiers.
and this will end this show for this evening here at the waterfall that drifts off into the pool. The sound is so settling. So surreal, serene. Got them little tables and stuff out here. More rooms. Got to be careful out here. Filming, you wind up in the pool. I wouldn't be a a good thing with it being this cool. Cool beans, huh? Cool beans. And of course, over here is where I come in at. I think I caught it just about right with the light and everything. There's somebody's little kitty cat. This is probably the back side of their kitchen, right there. Cool beans, man. Once more, I'm at the Blue Bank here in Tiptonville, Tennessee, enjoying a evening's end towards doing some filming at their Christmas decorations. You know, one reason why I do this and there's absolutely no charge is that a lot of people can't get out like I can still get out thank God but it means a lot to them just to get in the atmosphere of Christmas and uh, if they can catch a glimpse of some of my work that I do towards filming. Some of it may be intense, some of it may be funny, some of it may be flashy and glorious, some of it may be dull and boring. But if elderly people or people that can't get out of their homes that are confined can have an opportunity of being able to catch some of my work on YouTube. To me, if it brings a smile to a nine-year-old or a 90-year-old, it's worth my time and effort towards getting out here and doing what I'm doing for the public as far as putting myself out there in the work that I do and why that I do it because there's people out there that can't do this. They can't go to these places. Maybe they just can't afford it. Maybe they don't have a good car. 
Maybe their health is bad. Maybe they can't drive good at night because their eyes has gone bad. There's multiple reasons why a lot of people can't travel. And some people, this time of year, are scared to travel. Because this is the time of year whenever they usually have horrible, horrible bad wrecks. But I'm going to walk inside here real quick and take a glancing look at their Christmas tree. And then beyond that, I'm going to shut it down and that'll be the end of that. So thank you to my viewers. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Good. Can I help you? Just walking around. Oh, I was like, are, are you going live? You are going live. Doing a little filming. Then I'll keep my mouth shut. I'll send your word out. <laughs> I've got 32 minutes on here now. Started over there on that end, come back around. That's very pretty. It is. It is cool. And then, like, Friday and Saturday nights, we have the snow machines up on the back deck coming. Oh, you do? Uh -huh. Really? Gives the artificial snow? Huh. I bet that is pretty. You don't mind me filming in here, do you? I don't. I'm just just so I'm not to... Just so I'm not in a dining area pointing my camera at people. <laughs> I'm going to duck away so I'm not in it. How about that? Cool little gift shop. And then out the front. I guess I need to apologize. I thought that I was going to end my filming while I go in front of the pool. But the imagination caught my attention. It's marvelous how that they've done this. Absolutely marvelous. It's beautiful. And I got the snowman stuck way up here in a tree. That's unusual. And I guess that will end the scene here at Blue Bank Restaurant, Real Foot Lake, Tennessee. Did you just put him up there? Oh, uh, he's been up there about five days now, six days. Yeah? You got to be looking for him. <laughs> we hit him. Yeah. Hidden in plain view. Let's walk over here real quick. I caught a little bit of this from a far away distance. It looked good enough to come over here and actually look at it. One of the things that I found to be unusual while I was in Florida, 
other than the temperatures being irregular towards not feeling like Christmas. But they use a lot of Christmas designs down in that area pertaining to the ocean. A lot of starfish, uh, different types of of uh, mammals out of the ocean they make figurines out of and display them at their homes and restaurants. Daytona had an enormous amount of Christmas lights this time of year while I was working for a dealership there in St. Augustine, Florida. Once more, this will end this presentation for this evening here at Real Foot Lake at Blue Bank Restaurant in Northwest Tennessee. Thanks again to my viewers. And Shalom.